Capricorn, hi. So this is going to be a reading for mid-July 2022. And I'll um, do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Cappy. Cappy, Cappy, Cappy. What's going on? Okay. You're manifesting something here. The overall energy for the reading, the magician. You're manifesting something and it's something good for yourself. But through this manifestation, a lot of things get to heal. Uh, it's like a lot of things have to come to the surface so that, you know, you move them out of the way. And then manifestation, boom, right in front of you. So I don't know what it is. It for sure is going to require patience. But again, just I feel like you know that um some things are gonna pop up starting off the reading you get the five of pentacles crossed by the queen of pentacles a lot of self-nurturing kind of an energy it almost feels like um i don't get you as experiencing a loss right this minute as we speak as this is happening but there's definitely energies of um self-nurturing and definitely experiencing some sort of loss kind of an energy again i don't get it as oh my god you're in the middle of it you could be it's more something energetical tied up to this than the reality of something in front of you being taken away um it could be for some of you that you are you know dealing with something uh, quite quite painful but again i see it more as a pressing energy of that uh in your focus the Page of Cups, um, trying to stay open, trying to keep yourself open, your heart open. In the recent past, a little bit of mm, defensiveness towards something. Uh, in your strength here, again, patience, top priority. Uh, in the immediate future, and there it comes. That's your energy, actually, the devil here. Um, but I see this as that start onto, it's like opening, not Pandora's box, Capricorn's box. Opening Capricorn's box, um, where some things are going to show up, some uncomfortable things. I don't see you not being able to handle those, you know, it's not something, I feel like you've been through worse in terms of your own healing, but it does seem like something is uh kind of riled up there and it's coming to the surface for you to address um the supportive energy here uh deception that place in which we think we tell ourselves the truth and in fact we're kind of lying to ourselves maybe it has to do with that um where have you been deceptive where have you told yourself things that weren't necessarily true um where did you sabotage things for yourself and things like that the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it that's the thing it's again the energy of loss that's why i'm not seeing it as hitting you like a train right in front of you where you can see it like oh i'm dealing with loss okay i know what this is um even though you may be experiencing that right now um it takes you someplace else that's what i'm getting from it in terms of an energetic feel more than anything um it takes you somewhere. It takes you somewhere in your own pain, somewhere. It does something. It brings something up for you. In your hopes and fears, pain. Um, mm. Broken heart here. You know, you're for sure hoping not to get that, but when we hope to not get hurt, definitely we'll, we're kind of hanging on to some sort of fear of losing something the one that showed up already so it could be coming up there could be something at stake that's important for you and it kind of reveals itself with this magician because you are trying to bring something um forward here for you something good i assume and whenever that happens you know the the stake increases and then it's like our emotional toll to the thing is this kind of like we're hanging on to it so that it 
and then fear started to creep in slowly but surely. Um, all sorts of fears, all sorts of insecurities, you know, to tell us, eh, maybe you can't do this, you know? It's kind of normal, so that's why I'm not seeing it as a the biggest concern in the world for now. In terms of you can handle it, you know? Um, in the potential outcome, the world card, um, coming to the end of a cycle here. So let's clarify. Let's see what's up. <clears throat> Let me do the magician. The Hierophant, the Two of Wands, the Ace of Wands. Again, in terms of exactly what you're manifesting, I will know. I don't know. It's just energetically, I see you um, opening up your manifestation towards something quite deep, quite meaningful to you. And you're ready to take action for it, but there is a little bit of a pause there. There is a little bit, almost like, I know I'm going big in this, but I need to wait like a week or two or whatever. There, there's a sense of, not right now tied up to this, even though you are ready in terms of whatever you plan to do about this, you know? Uh, let me do the Five of Pentacles. Eight of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Cups. You have been working on this fear that is showing up quite strong these days, uh, which is fear of abandonment, fear of losing something tied up to loss here. Um, you have been working on it for a while. For right now, you're showing up a little bit stuck in this work towards this fear. Uh, a little bit stuck in your head, a little bit disappointed in how you're moving around this, how, mm, you know, I wish I could just heal it and then be gone, be done with it, and that's it. I'm done. Um, even if you do heal it and you reach the point of being like, okay, I've got a handle on it, it's still going to show up. You know, again, when things of importance show up, these fears are going to keep on showing up, even if we heal the shit out of them. So... Not to say, that's the thing, healing it kind of helps you into addressing it later when it does show up. Um, but for right now, you, you, you're you showing me a sense of kind of like I'm dragging my feet through this. Like I feel like I'm not healing anything. I'm not taking care of anything here. Kind of disappointed in self. Be a little more gentle, especially with this Queen of Pentacles showing up. Be a little more gentle with yourself through this healing of this big ass wound because we all have it and it's one of the biggest so don't put yourself down because you're moving too slow too fast to this to that no for the queen of pentacles you get the five of cups the ten of wands the seven of swords yeah no you're yeah what are you doing cap <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. what are you doing um what are you doing to you you're really kind of against yourself right now a little bit by the looks of it energetically speaking and you don't want to do that but you kind of are um it's quite a difficult energy to carry you know the available energy is definitely that of be more gentle be more nurturing to yourself through this um but you keep on abandoning that available energy by throwing in these blockages, you know? There's there's a sense of you feeling stuck in a past energy. Kind of like, let's, let's say, you know, in the past when you were gone through a shitty time, things felt in a certain way and then you evolved out of that and then you grew and then you healed and then it started feeling in a different way. You know, when things got shitty, it started feeling a little... Hmm, I know how to handle this a little better. I know. So the feeling was different already. Uh, you're kind of reverting back to that old feeling of <clears throat> like, I don't want to do this. I'm not, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not healing. I'm not doing shit. It looks like you're upset with yourself here. 
for a little period of time there that you're showing me. Let's see the Page of Cups in your focus. The Strength card, the Queen of Cups, the Three of Swords. All right. So you are trying to open up your heart here. There is progress in this department for sure. But then this Three of Swords steps in. So there's still pain attached to your heart there. That's why it's not opening more than it is at this time, which to me, it's like, you know, if you open up up to this point, it's okay. You're going to evolve. You're going to heal. You're going to do better. Um, this is Capricorn reading. It's not Virgo reading. This is not you. Alex. Okay. All right, take your boots out of this reading. Um, <clears throat> I mean, again, it, it, it looks like it's a good, uh, good reading. It could be a good reading. It looks like it's a good energy, that of you trying to open yourself up as much as you can. Um, there is still some pain in the way, you know, so... There's still healing happening there, um, which for now is allowing you to open up only to here, to this Queen of Cups, which is not bad at all, but it is revealing some pain too, this, this sense of keeping yourself open. Let me do the Temperance card in your strength. Ten of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, the Empress. That's the thing. That's exactly, and I feel like you know that. If it's showing up in your strength, then you got this right in terms of consciously, you know that that's how it goes. Where um, for a period of time, you're showing me a sense of knowingness of everything that's going on, including the energies you're experiencing, the healing that needs to be placed in certain aspects that you need to go for right now. For some reason, this energy of loss has shown up big time. This uh, abandonment wound is shown up. Um, and again, it could change where you're healing and you feel like you're not making any progress. And then you just wake up one day and it's like, oh my God, I feel so good. I feel so knowledgeable, like I achieved so many things. And then you revert into healing that aspect of this in particular. And then you feel like, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm good for nothing, which is not true, you know? Um, but that's how it goes. That's a normal kind of path around healing this one. It's, it's going to go like this. So don't expect a linear. Okay, you know, we'll take it slowly but surely, but we're going up only here. Mm -mm. It's not going to look like that. Um, just through this process, make sure you're a little more gentle with yourself here. You're putting yourself down a lot here. Let's do the devil in the immediate future. King of Swords, the Star, the Queen of Wands. There you are. Determination, passion, following your dreams. There you go. There you finally are. A little bit out of the, out of these energies of um, putting yourself down and instead of lifting yourself up into the place that you definitely have within you, you know, determination and courage to follow whatever it is that you want. So let's do the Five of Swords in the supportive energies. The Judgment card, the Three of Pentacles, the Temperance card. You've got another energy alongside with you through this journey. Now, I don't know who this is to you. It could be a, a good friend. It could be found. And it doesn't have to be one. It could be several energies. But there's definitely a side-by-side -side kind, of kind of an energy attached to you here. Uh, which I kind of get the sense that you're not seeing or you're not acknowledging, you know, because of this Five of Swords here. There's somebody else not walking your path, but walking with you for a little bit while you go through this. This. I'm not going to say crap because, you know, even though it feels like crap sometimes, it's not. It's your journey. It's your experience, you know. It's not going to look pretty sometimes, but let's not call it crap. You know, um, there's someone here. Let's do the Ten of Swords in the Hidden Energies. 
the Fool, the Seven of Wands, the Page of Cups. It's this fear that in men you're showing up, despite the, the fear, you're showing up very confident, you know, even if it's just for a, 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 a split second there. You're showing up very confident, very, mm, I'm going to go get it. I'm going to, and then in the hidden energies, it's like, oh man, but if I go get what I want, or if I go pursue even what I want, if I, if I, even if I think about what I want, nah, probably not going to get it. That's the fear, you know, it's there and it's going to do that. It's going to try to interfere. Especially when you're in such an aligned energy of just knowing that you can achieve certain things and then this fear is going to start, you know, slowly but surely infiltrating, kind of like you hear a little voice saying, are you sure you can do this? And you think it's you, the real you, and it's not, it's the mind, you know, trying to take control and trying to keep you comfy in a comfortable zone there. Let's do the three of swords without taking chances, without doing much. For the Three of Swords in your hopes and fears, the Three of Cups, the Chariot, the Page of Swords. <clears throat> Over the energy of love here, I'm going back to this because I told you there's still some pain surrounding that heart of yours that you're still kind of healing. Um, you may feel like you're open fully and you're close to being fully open, but that doesn't mean that um, it's going to allow love in necessarily because there's still pain here that you need to transmute. You need to heal and you need to transmute. And that pain is not allowing you as much as you want consciously for love to show up. And you say to yourself, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do. That pain is still there. As long as that pain is still there unhealed. Um, again, you can say to yourself as much as you want. That, Let's go, love. I don't, know. I don't know. Just a reminder that that pain is still there. What you fear is there. Because you carry the fear of it, that means you're bringing the energy of it here. Uh, for the world card and the potential outcome, the lovers, the four of swords, the nine of wands. Um, you might have reached a final closure for a particular connection that I feel like is not recent at all. I feel like it's quite old for you, like a while ago, a while back. It was of significance, big ass significance, and I feel like there's a little bit of a, think of it as a little bit of a, a, a particle that was needed to close off something for you in that department, in that connection. And it's coming to a close. It's like the particle is finally, because because I see a rejection towards putting that particle there and just being like, okay, done, you know? So as much as you're resisting this, it's coming to a close fully, which you may have thought that you closed this off because that's why I'm seeing it as way down the line. And you may have thought that, no, I'm done with that, I'm done. Mm -mm. You're going to be done with that at some point here through these energies. Could be that this pain is attached to it too. So as you heal the pain, certain cycles are going to close off, want it or not. Uh, let's close it off with some final cards from the universe. <clears throat> Four of Cups, the Empress, the Ace of Cups. Yeah, kind of upset with you again. It's like, if I have it one day and then I lose it, can't I just kind of have it? And then, you know, from that place, can't I just open up fully? You know, where because I, I see you looking for love. And it sometimes it just doesn't make sense that you're there for a little bit in the knowledge of everything including how this pain is kind of surrounding that heart of yours that's open and then you say you're open but you're not really because you got to take care of the pain and the you know um but you have those i almost call them sobriety moments which you could call it that because it's not i mean love sobriety yeah or soul sobriety yeah uh moments where they're not staying for long, but they're there. You're kind of pissed off because they're not staying there longer so that you can be open, so that you can be fully 
there it is, I embrace life fully kind of a thing. Stop being pissed off with yourself, Gabby. You know? Take it easy. Easy on yourself there. Um, let's see some final words from the Heavenly Bodies Astrology deck. We got a bunch of Oracle and all sorts of cards from all sorts of places. Now I'm kind of testing them out. You get Saturn. Feel restricted, experience struggle, learn how work, learn hard work and patience. Learn hard work and patience. I didn't see that. What is this? Hold on. Let me see where this is so that I read a little bit about that. Saturn. Where's Saturn? There it is. All right. No, this is Uranus. Where are you at? Oh. Hold on, I missed. Okay. Saturn. Um, and where in life do you feel a faded sense of lack? Where in yourself do you feel deeply insecure or inadequate? Your guides know the tender nature of these questions and remind you the truth of your soul is innately whole and unconditionally worthy. Yet here on earth, human brokenness so easily hardens into shame. Can you shift your perspective and see any broken pieces as potent opportunities for growth? These fractures are perfectly designed by the all-loving universe encoded with the medicine you need. Call on courage, call on courage and commit to a healing path. Start by shining a light on the darkness within. What does it look like? Where does it come from? What do you see? This is the work your soul came here for and alchemy in your bright in your bright right. Birthright. I don't even know how to read energetics restrictions sacredity patience time hard work tradition authority figures experiences where you feel inadequ inadequate where you experience oppression where you learn pers persistence see i'm not following my intuition here it was persistence where you learn persistence and self-discipline hmm. interesting this is very Capricorn like. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's uh, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped. Aw, house finch. And I'll see you next time. Bye.